Welcome to Code It. My name is Pontus and today I'm going to show you how you can turn off and turn on your radiator so you get the perfect temperature. So for this we're going to need this switch which you can turn on and turn off and this wireless weather station so we know which degree it's currently at and of course we're going to use this testing duo as a radio receiver and a radio transmitter. Let's get started. Let's start by connecting the testing duo to the computer with this USB to micro USB cable. There we go. And then I'm going to hook up this switch to a socket. Perfect. Now I have already connected this to the telecenter and as well this wireless weather station. You can see how you do that in another tutorial I have posted in the playlist Getting Started. So now let's hook up the radiator as well. There we go. So now everything is hooked up. Let's get into some coding. So I have already created my directory and created a file with uh, the name of radiator.js. Uh, first off, let's start declaring our variables. We're going to need the Tedlus node package and the express node package. I assume that you worked with uh, Node.js before. If you haven't, just check the tutorials out on YouTube and come back later. Now we can declare our express app. There we go. And start listening on the port 3000 with a function. And then we start declaring the wanted degree. I'm going to have it at 30. And then I want to declare a listener. So we can start listening on the temperature that will be sent through the wireless uh, weather station. Add sensor event listener. Then a callback function with the device ID, the protocol and the model and the type and the value and the time stamp. We're just going to use the device ID, the type and the value. Now let's check which device that has sent the event by checking if the device ID is 215. 215 is the weather station that you can see here. So now when we know what the device ID it got, we can check if the type is 1. And there are two different types. Type 1 is the degrees. And type 2 is the humidity. Then we're going to check if value is smaller than the wanted degree or else. And we want to set the status of the radiator so we can keep track of it. So if status is false. We're going to set it to true and then turn on the radiator and the radiator ID is 9. Then a callback function with a log message. Radiator turned on. The degree is less than And wanted a degree. Now, else the radiator is turned on. We set it back to false and and turn the radiator to off. So log out, radiator turned off, the degree is the wanted 
degree or greater. There we go. Now, that's everything. So, now when everything is set up, I can go ahead and press node radiator.ts. And it will immediately start putting on the fan because it's only 25 Celsius. You can use this in many different scenarios, but in this scenario I will use it in my mother's uh, greenhouse. To keep the greenhouse in a perfect temperature. So let's go ahead and go outside and install it. So, now I'm in my mother's greenhouse, so let's hook this up. So, I hope everything worked out great for you. If you like this and want to see more of this, just leave a like and do not forget to subscribe.